Good afternoon, everyone. So today's my free paper presentation is titled IOL Formula Calculation in Pediatric Eyes. Do we have an answer? No financial disclosures. So pediatric cataract surgery with intraocular lens implantation is a very commonly performed procedure worldwide now. But in children, there are some challenges in IOL power calculation. Like in children, they have an axial eyeball growth and a tendency for a myopic shift, because of which we need to have a targeted hyperopic undercorrection. And also children have a poor cooperation for measurement of ocular parameters. And because of this, these measurements have to be done under general anesthesia, where centration and fixation is usually a problem. And the IOL power calculation formulae that I've normally used are all validated in adult eyes. So the aim of our study was to assess the predictability of SRK2 and Barrett's Universal 2 formula and the possible effect of axial and keratometry and age. It was a retrospective study. Total of 123 records were analyzed and 72 eyes of 39 patients were included. Uh, children under eight years of age who underwent cataract surgery with IOL implantation were included. And uh, children who had other ocular anomalies like persistent fetal vasculature, coloboma, or other disorders like glaucoma and retinal detachment were excluded. So the SRK2 formula, the IOL power was calculated uh, using the age-appropriate targeted hyperopic undercorrection. And after the surgery at one month post-op, refraction was done and the spherical equivalent was seen. And the predicted error for SRK2 was measured as the post-op spherical equivalent minus the target refraction. For Barrett's, again, the IOL power was calculated using the same target refraction, but the post-op spherical equivalent was back calculated. And the predicted error for Barrett's was thus the back calculated spherical equivalent minus the target refraction. So these, in both the groups, the mean prediction error and the mean absolute prediction error were compared. And the subgroup analysis were further done for axial and keratometry and age. Statistical analysis was performed using SPSS version 21. And the differences in the predictive error and the absolute predictive error you, between the two formulae was analyzed by Wil Wilcox and Seintrank test. And a p-value of less than 0 0.05 was considered significant. So coming to the results, total of 72 eyes of 39 patients were included. The mean age of surgery was around 3.8 years. And in the overall cohort, we can see that the predictive error, mean predictive error was much lesser in Barrett's compared to SRK2, and this value was statistically significant. But in the mean absolute predictive error, there was not much difference between the two groups. And further in subgroup analysis, according to axial length, it was divided into three groups. In the shorter axial length group, that is 18 to 21 mm, SRK2 performed much better than Barrett's. But in the uh, group which has 21 to 24 mm, Barrett's perform much better than SRK2. But in the higher axial length group, both these IOL formulae had a higher predictive error. Correlation analysis was done and a strong positive correlation was seen using the SRK2 formula for the higher axial length group. Uh, the subgroup analysis according to keratometry, we divided into two groups. In the flatter corneas of less than or equal to 45 diopters, we can see that Barrett's performed better than SRK2, but in the higher uh, keratometry groups, both of them were comparable. In the correlation analysis, a significant negative correlation, but in the overall keratometry group was seen using Barrett's. And in the subgroup analysis, according to age, we divided into three groups, less than two years, three to five, and five to eight. We can see that Barrett's performed better than SRK2 overall in all the age groups, and the least amount of predictive error was seen in the less than two years age group. No significant correlation was seen. So overall, we found that Barrett's had a much lower predictive error compared to SRK2, and this value was statistically significant. But the mean absolute predictive error was similar in both the groups. With respect to axial length, in the 18 to 21 mm group, SRK2 was better. In the 21 to 24 mm group, Barrett's was better. And in the higher axial length, both had a higher predictive error. Steeper corneas, both were good. But in the flatter corneas, Barrett's performed better. And Barrett showed a smaller predictive error across all age groups, but especially so in the less than two years age group. So when we compared our study with other similar studies that have been done, we can see that there is no single ideal uh, IOL calculation formula in children. Chang et al. said for the younger children and in the shorter axillent, SRKT was better, but Barrett's was better in the higher axillents. Epley et al. said Barrett's performed equally well across all. And, but Kekunaya et al. found that SRK2 actually had the least predictive error in all. So in conclusion, we can say that Barrett's formula can be used with predictable outcomes in children under two years and above five years, eyes with axial length between 21 to 24 mm, and flatter corneas of less than or equal to 45 diopters. Thank you. This paper has been submitted to IGO.
थैंक यू एक्सेप्टेड एक्सेप्टेड और सबमिटेड एक्सेप्टेड होगा तो बात हो पब्लिक वाली हो गई थैंक यू